Hey guys, today we're going to be doing another subscription box. This one is Okashi Connection, and I actually did these on my channel a while ago, but now I'm doing them again. And they have three different boxes, and this one is the Sumo one. They also have, I believe, a Ninja and a Samurai box. I'll put all the information down below in the description, but let's go ahead and open it. Website is okashiconnection.com, and again, it has the Sumo on the top because this is the Sumo box. Sumo! I feel like a sumo wrestler sometimes because I eat a lot. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, opening the box, it looks like uh, these. Ooh, I'm very excited. You get the pamphlet that is very bright and it has all the things that come in the box. And then here are pictures. So, this is the sumo, the samurai, and the ninja. Ooh, there's lots of fun things in here. Okay, so the first thing is this popcorn, and it's actually by the brand Frito-Lay, and it's all in Japanese. So, I'm really excited that I got popcorn. This says that it's soy sauce flavor, so that's interesting. It says salty but smooth taste, so let's see if it's salty and smooth. Kind of just smells like regular butter popcorn, but yay, I love popcorn. It's like my favorite. So, again, just looks like popcorn. Huh. It definitely is very salty, and it does kind of actually taste like soy sauce, but not very strong. Huh. It is very, very good. It's very salty and very smooth. I like it. I could probably sit here and eat this whole thing. But then we wouldn't have a video, huh? I love this. I would give it a 5 out of 5. It tastes like popcorn that is salty with a tinge of sweetness. That's not too much. Very, very good. Very light. I like it. Next are these. And I've had these before. And I don't remember really liking it. So I'll probably still taste it for the sake of the video. Basically... It is seaweed wrapped on a little cracker thing, and there's also some peanuts in there. It says there's a slight wasabi taste, so I don't do spicy things very well, so let's see. So that is what it looks like. Yeah, oh, I don't like it. I'm not a huge, huge fan of seaweed, like I'll eat sushi with seaweed but this is like dried and it's a lot more fishy flavored if you really like nori then you'll like this but i don't really like it so i'm gonna give it like a one out of five the peanuts are good <laughs> Ooh, what is this okay so this looks super interesting it is by the brand glyco glico which is the same brand that makes like the caplico like ice cream cone things this says it is Coplicocot, 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 double chocolate, and it says it is two different kinds of chocolate, aerated for a crisp, crumbly texture. Mm. So the packaging is really cool. It comes in like this little like plastic tray, and they're all like in their little compartments. So, they look like little butts. <laughs> if I can get it out. Oh, cool. So, it looks even more like a butt now. Only now it does two different kinds of brown. Interesting. I guess if you were mature, you could say it looks like a heart, not a butt. But this is me we're talking about. Mmm. That is very good. It is very crumbly in your mouth. That is very delightful. The chocolate is very nice. It's very soft and crumbly, so I would give that a 5 out of 5. Next is this, and it's Blueberry Pocky, and I'm so excited because I've never seen Blueberry Pocky before. The packaging is really pretty, and it has pretty birds on it. Oh, it's so cute packaging. It has hearts. Ooh, it smells so good. These are so pretty. There's, like, little specks in there. Like, it's not just all in solid color. Huh. These are really, really good. It's a really nice, light blueberry flavor. It's really not too strong at all. It's not too fake tasting. I really like it. It almost kind of feels like a blueberry yogurt on the outside. 
It's really, really nice. So I give this one a 5 out of 5. Oh, you can see my shadow. La, 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 la. This box is really, really full. They don't call it sumo for nothing. I'm going to be a sumo wrestler after this. Next is this giant four-pack of gummies. These are the puree bunnies. I think that's how you pronounce it. But there's different flavors. So it looks like we have lemon, apple, grape, and strawberry. So I guess I'll try the strawberry first. They say they are slightly sour, which I like. So they're little heart-shaped gummies. They're so cute. Mmm. Ooh, yeah. That is very sour. I like it. So they're not lying when they say it's sour. It's really good. It's like a sour patch. These are really, really amazing. I don't know if I'll try all four flavors. No, I'll just try... I'll try a grape one. This is the grape one. Those are really, really yummy. They're pretty much exactly like Sour Patch Kids. They're super sour, sweet, soft. Very good, so I give those a 5 out of 5. Very, very yummy. Next is this Pokemon wafer. It has a ton of Pokemon on it. I think I've gotten this like 3 or 4 times now. So it's just two wafers with the chocolate in the middle. I think that these are okay. I mean, I don't think that they're bad, but I think that it would benefit from being completely covered in chocolate instead of just having the chocolate on the inside because the wafers are kind of dry. But overall, I'd say it's not bad. You do get a little sticker with it, and this is a little, what is it, a Charizard? No. Squirtle? Someone's going to yell at me and tell me what it is in the comments, but sorry. So yeah, I'd probably give that like, I don't know what I've given it before, but I'd probably give it like a 2 out of 5. It's not bad. It's just not great. Next are these Super Mario gummies, and I love Super Mario, so I'm real excited. <laughs> So first I pulled out this little blue mushroom, which is super, super adorable. It says that it's cola and cider flavor, so I think this one's a cider flavor. Flavor's kind of weird. It does definitely taste like Ramune. This is a little Mario one. This little Mario head. Mm, I don't know. I don't really like the, the soda flavor one that much. This is the cola flavored one. I like the cola one better, but... These are pretty good. They're just little gummies. Um, they do have a nice flavor. I, like, I prefer the cola one myself. But they're really, really fun and they're shaped like Mario characters so you can't really go wrong. So I'd probably give this one like a 4 out of 5. So next are these two little um, rolls. And it says bourbon on it, which I think is kind of funny. These are apparently little cake rolls that are strawberry flavored. Oh, they're so cute. Have I had these before? I don't know. But it looks like they just took like a little thin thing of cake and then rolled it up and then covered it in strawberry. Mmm. Okay. I'm waiting for the strawberry flavor but it's not really coming. For saying that it's strawberry flavored, it doesn't really taste super strawberry. I mean, it, there's definitely a strawberry flavor to it but it's not very strong. It's a very, very light, subtle strawberry flavor. But it's really good. It tasted like cake. And it had, like, the strawberry coating on it. It wasn't overpowering at all. It was very light. So that's not bad. So I'd probably give it, like, a 3 out of 5. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so next is this little panda thing. And it's so cute. I don't even want to open it. Look how adorable it is. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, my gosh. This is poop candy, I think. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. So you open it near the head. And then there are some candies in here. I don't know why they didn't give you brown candies. It's supposed to be poop, but I guess they weren't going for super duper realism. But I feel like if you're going to make a poop candy, you should just commit and go all the way, you know? So then we put everything back together. So we have our little panda. And then there's a little hole on his butt. And then the little <laughs> the little candy gets pooped out. How adorable. Okay, so let's try the little candy. Mmm. I think it's chocolate, maybe? I actually don't know what flavor that is. It almost tastes like a six slit, if you know what that is. Poop. A pink poop. Mm. 
I have no idea what this candy is supposed to be. It's like white on the inside. So I actually don't know. I think it's fruit flavored. But it's so cute, it like poops little candies out. That's adorable. Plus the panda's just really, really cute. <laughs> I give this a 5 out of 5 on principle because anything that poops gets a 5 in my book. So next are these, and these look really good. I think it says dark chocolate and strawberry, and I cannot do dark chocolate. Like, I can do it very minimally. This is very, like, romantic, I feel like. Probably because it's chocolate and strawberries, which is, like, the romantic thing. But it's very, like, sophisticated going on. So this is what it looks like. A little nugget. Let's see if it's too strong for me. Looks like that. Mm, it's not too bad. I do get a little bit of bitterness from the dark chocolate just because I don't like dark chocolate. But there's like an Oreo thing at the bottom. Strawberry like powdery stuff on top. And then it's coated in like the thin dark chocolate. And I'm definitely getting a bitterness. So I don't really like these. But if I like dark chocolate, which if you like dark chocolate, then I'm sure you will love these. So I'm going to go ahead and give this like a 2 out of 5. But that's because I don't like dark chocolate. The idea is great, but I wish it was milk chocolate instead. Next is this, which is very, very tall and has little bears on it. This says that it is a crispy senbei cracker that's pizza flavored. Oh, there's a bunch of them. For some reason, I thought it was going to be like the Yumebos where it's like one big stick, but there's just like a bunch of little crackers in here. That was weird. It was a lot less crispy than I was expecting. It was kind of hard. It is pretty good. It has a nice pizza flavor. Kind of tastes like pizza chips. The cracker is very crunchy. It wasn't as like airy as I was thinking. It's pretty dense. But I think those are pretty good. I'd probably give those like a 3 out of 5. So next is this. And these look like lifesavers. To be honest. It says it feels hard but it's easy to bite. Apparently you can make a whistle sound. Okay. Look like that. <laughs> oh my god that would like so annoy any parent who ever bought this for their children <laughs> can you just imagine like 20 kids getting their hands on these and then just going crazy and making their parents insane that's really fun though it sounds like a squeaky toy <laughs> I must just want to do that all day and not eat it, but I'll eat it. Oh wow, it is soft. Oh wow, it's hollow on the inside. You can't really tell because it's white. I think that's why it makes the whistle sound. Huh, that's interesting. It's really soft. It tastes like a sweet tart. It kind of tastes like um, ramine. It says that there's like a prize in this little box, so. What is it? It is... I can't tell what it is. It's like a little, like, I don't know if it's like a heart or something. I don't know what it is, but it spins around, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I think you can, like, do that. I don't know. That's kind of cool. It comes with a toy. I think that's really fun. I think it's hilarious that it makes it sound like that. And I think that it would absolutely annoy everybody that you did that around. So I think you should get it just to do that. So I'm going to give that like a 5 out of 5 because it's really fun and it makes an annoying sound. And it comes with a toy. Perfect. This is the box that keeps on giving. So next are these. And I believe the way to say it is Colin. We're going to say Colin and not the other way. These are rum vanilla flavor. So that's interesting. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a little wafer with the filling on the inside. It smells more like alcohol than it does vanilla. It like actually does smell like rum. Mm. Ooh. It's like dissolved. Hmm. Wow, it really does taste exactly like alcohol. Like I don't know how they did that. Because I don't think it actually has alcohol in it. But they just made it taste like rum. That is very interesting. It does taste like rum vanilla. That is very interesting. I don't know that I would say that I like it because I don't really like the taste of alcohol. But it's amazing to me that it tastes exactly like it. I'd probably give these like a 2 out of 5. 
So I got this, and I think it's an extra because it's not on my little pamphlet, but I have had these before, and they're really, really good. Um, they're kind of like lemon-flavored haichu with, like, a center that's like Pop Rocks, kind of. Let me try it. So it's like soft candy. You can't even see that. It's too bright, but there's, like, a yellow outside, and then the inside it has, like, a filling. So they kind of just taste like lemon starburst to me. And it's like a thin coating of that. And then the inside is like more fluffy. And it has like, I think they're Pop Rocks. They're like little like candies. It's really good. It has a really nice lemon flavor. I don't remember what it's called. But I give that one a 5 out of 5. Lastly in the box are two candy kits. So the first one is this soft DIY one. Which I did on my channel a long time ago. I may do it again. Um, just because when I did it before the... Uh, wafer was I think I don't know if it was really old or I don't know I may go ahead and start redoing kits that I've already done on my channel let me know if you like that idea because I think I'm running out of kits to do for my candy marathons then you also get the pop and cook and ramen set which I actually have a video on on my channel which I will link to here um, but basically you make candy noodles and there's candy broth and candy dumplings and it's a lot of fun so I will put the link to that video uh, here for you to watch so that was the Okashi connection box I will put the link down below to where you can get this box again this was the sumo box but there's two other sizes as well the ninja and the samurai thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later bye